Hey everybody, I am back out in the UK in a beautiful permission that I'm very happy I got. I did find an American coin here last time I was here, which was for me amazing, an 1800s American braided hair. Um, don't know what I'm going to find today, I only have one hour, so and that's it, um, so I have to do what I can. It's very misty. I don't know if you could see anything in the background. I don't know if you can hear the geese in the background either. It's quite often geese flying over the valley here. It's a beautiful spot, although you can't see much today. Uh, but maybe in an hour's time it'll have cleared because it's about eight o'clock in the morning. We're coming up to. So I will see you all at the first good signal. Moving on. Well, I'm out today with the trusty cruiser with the huge satellite dish on the end of it. Um, yeah, that was my first find, is my first find, 30s signal, 30s, 40s. It's a thick old piece of, I don't know, edge of a pot by the looks of it. You can see there's a rim. Could, could it be the edge of a bell? Uh, could be bell metal by the looks of it. Not sure. Looks kind of cool. Moving on. Well, that's my second find. It's, it's already beginning to clear up here. You can just about start to see the valley coming through the mist. But that second find, I, I don't know what it is yet, obviously. It's a coin. It was a very jumpy signal and it was down no, seven inches. Oh, that's going to be a half penny. And it's in beautiful condition. Eighteen twenty. Look at that. Beautiful coin. It's a young Victoria bunhead, half penny. I am very happy with that. Second signal you dig to find an old coin in such beautiful condition. Yeah, I do love these fields actually. The stuff here is very well preserved. Uh, there's not too much chemicals gone into the ground here it seems. Uh, but yeah, I've got to stop talking. I only have an hour. I'll see you at the next. And my next find is just a random piece of lead, but uh, I like, always like finding lead. But yeah, there's nothing special about this one. Moving on. And I have no idea what that is. Don't know what metal, it's very heavy. Don't know if it's lead, I have to clean it up. It's got a hole in it. Uh, yeah. Don't know, it's broken off something. Moving on. So I'm on to another signal. I don't know, it's about... Well, there's my little shovel. Six inches down. You can see it in the side wall here. Oh, I only could see the green. I thought maybe it's a, a coin, but that's definitely not a coin. The question is, what is it? Oh, it's a... Um, it's a propeller for a little plane. No, it's not. Sorry, my imagination. It's like a window catch or, or something like that. Okay. Nothing exciting. And moving on. Well, this is turning into quite a good hour's hunt. When you find one coin in an hour, you're always happy. But about seven inches down, maybe a little bit more. There's another one in there, and there it is, it just came out on the side here, well, what is that? It's a coin, I know that much, and there is something on it, don't rub the coin, yes I know, oh yeah there, 
is facing to the right. That's going to be a George's second or third. Oh, I always get them mixed up. <coughs> and I dropped him, gave him a headache. So Britannia will be... Yeah, you can see Britannia there. Um, yeah, give that a brush up later and you'll see it, hopefully. Cool, second coin is already drying up. Yeah, really happy with that, very happy with that. Moving on. Well, out of that hole there came this. I've got about 20 minutes left, so there's still time to find something else. Uh, ooh. Um, oh yeah, the center's gone out of that. Okay. It's a little buckle. Not so little. Unusual design on it. Oh yeah. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Cool. Try and clean that up. Moving on. That's an unusual one. I'm sure it's some kind of electrical fitting of some kind. Not sure exactly what that's off. I don't know if that's off a car or... Um, reminds me a little bit of a rotor arm, but it's not one. Um, yeah, not sure on that one. Moving on. I have no idea. Don't know what that is. Decorative piece of something off something, I guess. Try and clean that up, see if there's any detail on it. Well, with the mist clearing, it's now my time to leave this beautiful valley. I really enjoyed that hunt, only an hour. I think I'm ending on a piece of lead unless there's something coming up on my way. Last row back to the car. Um, yeah, I've had a successful day, two coins, very happy with that. And uh, yeah, you can never complain in an hour's hunt when you get two coins, especially two old ones. And a squished chocolate bar. Other squished chocolate bars are available, I'm not advertising them. That will be my snack before I leave. I'll just stand and enjoy this view. Hopefully I'll get a wrap up to you guys. Can't promise that, but I'll try to do one. And moving on. So, not much from today, but actually I really enjoyed my hunt. Beautiful buckle, nothing, I've never found one like that before. It's very cool. Just some random bits of lead and some it's a window placement, not sure what that is. That's a piece off a rotor arm. Looks like bell metal, it's quite thick. Georgian coin, just see George facing to the right there, and you can make out, just about make out uh, Britannia, and a really beautiful half penny from 18, well, maybe 1890, I don't know, it's a bun head, Vicky bun head. Yeah, I thought it was 1820 earlier on, made a mistake with that, sorry, 18, 1890. Cool, beautiful coin. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm signing off.